what's going on, y'all. What is going on? Thank you for choosing once again to click on my channel. This is Oya Oi. So I'm here to do the money job. With the messages to the collective. How are you guys? How is everybody? Thank you, everybody that has been liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting the channel. Thank you. So grateful to have you guys. Welcome all new subscribers. I'm just going to pull. Y'all hear surrender and bow to on top of the deck. A lot of people are surrendering. They're going to have to bow to God. Okay, that's all it is to it. All right. Please, guys, only take what resonates. I'm only here to give it to you so you can have it. We are all stars in our own show, but this may or may not be for you. I have somebody here that, like I said, is going to have to surrender to God. Bow down. Bow down. Okay? This is almost someone is like walking karma. Anytime you go around someone, they want to try you, do something to you, you are most definitely protected. Bow down. Okay? <laughs> Keep getting bow down. Okay, so we have shattered glass out here. Someone is finding out that, um, yeah, this is, uh, oh, Lord, okay. <laughs> Someone is finding out that um, there could be a masculine out here that's down low. Um, this person likes to get loaded with the same sex, okay? This is basically this person has, you know, sex with the same sex. They get high with the same sex. Um, but there's a lot of gossip and lies around this person. This person could also appear to have a lot of money. Um, they do have a lot of money. This is the money king, okay? Someone that has a lot of money, they could use it to trick. They could use it to throw at the club. Whatever they choose to do is their money, you know what I'm saying? But whoever this person is is under judgment because they didn't involve someone inside of a relationship. Or they could have just been playing with somebody. They was trying to keep some secrets here and now it's coming to light, okay? It's most definitely coming to light. I also got an energy of someone that's trying to... Um, either break a glass or punching through something here something's getting broken or shattered um because of some gossip and lies so maybe someone was gossiping lying about someone being let down low or um you know on drugs here well, let's see yeah well well it came out <laughs> this person's a liar so this person's a liar okay they've been lying through their teeth and now something's being revealed about who they actually are this person could also have a profile, um, you know, online. They actually could be dating someone or married, and they have a profile online where they try to pick up other, you know, other love interests of the same sex. <laughs> Ooh -wee -wee. Ooh -wee. Yeah, whoever this person is, like a choosy beggar, though. They're a narcissist. Um, they're very choosy about who... Who they pick. This is almost someone that, you know, looks online for those that may not be a certain, you know, position in life. So this person will feel like that they are better than them. So they'll scroll through you. And if they see, you know, something about you that's off, they may even play on that. They uh, play on your emotions on that situation or play on that certain flaw. And this is how this person is. Okay. It's all it is to it. This person plays on per people's flaws. Um, they do a lot of lying and they gossip like a bitch. Okay, this is a masculine that gossip just just like a whole female. He might even sip and drink wine with you and tell you everything, but it's just lying. He just lying. He lying. Okay, this person could also have a degree or be around someone. You could have a degree. You can have a PhD, master's, doctorate, whatever kind of degree you have. Someone has a degree, okay? Um, but this person is like doing some type of senseless retaliation. So they could even be trying to come against someone that is revealing that this person is actually sleeping with the same sex. Or this could be the person that they've actually been with that is like, come on now, you know, you either are or you ain't. This person wants someone to choose between them and their love that they are putting on the forefront or showcasing to everybody else. Okay. Yeah, so this person could be, um, like I said, either this person is on one or the other person is on one. They're trying to retaliate, okay? But it's all senseless. This, be who you are, you guys. Be your raw, authentic self, okay? 
whatever it is that, that you're doing, be that, be true to it, make sure people around you know it, just be it, okay, you don't have to keep covering up your lifestyle, if you are most definitely a masculine um, that's down low, know that nothing will be down low right now, we're most definitely going high to the sky, we're getting higher and higher, okay, a lot of us are experiencing 5D, um, you could even be higher than 5D, a lot of us are multi-dimensional, somebody is really on the ascension process, and it's like everything that someone could be trying to show you, you know that it's like an illusion, and the illusion is being shattered here, okay, this person also feels like they, they're dangerous because they have this type of money or degrees, but someone has some good news coming into them, okay, Someone's actually getting ready to be moving. And this is what I'm going to tell you. You, This could be a mother that's getting ready to get a new home. And the, the, only, the only pain you're going to have to experience is actually putting this dresser on your back or moving things because you may be moving alone. And there is nothing wrong with that. I have done it several times where, you know, you may think people will be there to help you. But maybe at this time, you are meant to experience whatever it is alone because you're moving to this next level. Okay, so like I said, you could be moving, get a dress on your back. You could be packing by yourself. Start looking at things from another perspective because it's better to be alone at peace than have a lot of people around you and you don't know where the demonic energy or the attachments and things are coming from. Okay, people are going to feel some type of way about you moving forward, but someone has some good news coming in about a house or someone they, get, they could be moving to and you could be a mother that has been going through a lot Um crying, experiencing pain from dealing with a lot of foolery from somebody that's outside yourself. And, and it came out. You have to, uh, uh, you could be ascending, okay? So somebody is lying to somebody about you, okay? So you got somebody is lying to him and her or about you. Someone is lying to someone about you, um, but these people are not even going to have a chance to worry about you because they're going to jail. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of jail energy that's been coming up, Um and this is almost as if somebody was trying to create some illusions or do something to bring you down, it's like all they shit's falling out the bag. So you you running around, you know, chasing somebody else, but all your shit didn't fail and you done left a trail to who, <laughs> you done left a trail to your hat out. You know what I'm saying? Somebody is like running around trying to create confusion. They lied to somebody about you. And not only are you ascending, but you're getting ready to be moved away from whatever this is. Because it's senseless. There's no point in a lot of shit that's been going on. Okay, so you're being told to budget and save your money up. Do not speak on this move to anybody. Don't, you know, if somebody, like, I'm telling you, going through my own experience, and it started, you know, I started awakening to everything. I had a neighbor one time, and I was moving, right? Didn't even know the girl. Probably met her a month before I was moving. You know, we became cool simply because I chose to, you know, help and be there and, she would let me use her phone a few times when I was going through, you know, the witchcraft and shit that was being placed over my home. And, you know, I cried in front of her front a few times, and I guess she thought I was weak. But this song, this particular situation, she was like, well, where are you moving to? And I was like, girl, why are you asking me where I'm moving? Okay, a lot of these people, they want to know what you're doing, what your next move is, how much money you got, when you're taking your shit, uh, if you completed your college course, if you have signed the to the, the deed to the building, if you have opened up this business, if you have created this artwork or have a business plan, pitch the idea, like they want to know your next move so they can try to come in some type of way and like slide in on you. But just know this is all energy, you guys. You must definitely move forward. I'm proud of you guys. Okay, so yeah, you got, and I said it. Somebody's still spiritually stalking her. This person could actually be like a Chester, somebody that likes younger females or younger men, okay? And I said when I seen this, like, we don't realize how serious it is because when I was in high school, you guys, I see there was this one guy, right? He was a very handsome gentleman. He was, his light skin had like, he had gray locks or whatever. But I had overheard this conversation one time because, you know, he dressed all thugger thugger and shit. So this is how early I got introduced to it because he was in the lunchroom bragging about, you know, that he's not gay, but he got a man that, you know, buy him everything he wants just to ride with him and, you know what I'm saying? Take pictures of him and he sent him pictures and shit. Like, this is the type of big stuff that people have been into and they didn't want it to come out, but now it's coming out. Because if they messing with anything younger than what they should be messing with, know that if you some type of way been in the background trying to create controversy in somebody else's life, you're going to have your bag of bones spilled out on you. Your cars is going to be open and all this shit, the, 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 the panties and, and the bras that you've been secretly hiding 
the wigs, whatever you have done to like dress up as somebody else, all that shit is falling out your closet, okay? You cannot come against somebody and think that your own shit is not going to be revealed, okay? So you got somebody is a slave. This person is basically a slave to somebody here. Um, this could be somebody that is like uh, constantly drinking, could have some type of bladder problem, urinary problem um, when they pee. Something happened here. Yeah. Somebody could have a urinary problem from dealing, uh, sleeping with somebody that, you know, sleeps with a lot of different energies that could also, you know, like like stroking, stroking it from the back of the same sex. And this person may have slept with somebody and now this person has caught like some type of UTI. Just know that it's not uh, something that is like, you know, a permanent blemish on your life. But somebody's about to find out that they have some type of infection because this person is choosing to hop out of the backside and go straight to the front side of the partner that they lying to. So somebody's still spiritually stalking somebody here, okay? And it's a decline in that. It's a decline in a lot of this gang stalking and spiritual stalking. It's almost as, like I told y'all, these people are going to have to sit down and accept who they are, what they've done, what they got going on, and go through the fire like they was making you go through, okay? A lot of us, we went through the fire and flames simply because we chose not to let go of certain people, places, situations, things we did, we didn't want to accept the thing, the hurt and pain that we felt or what we may have caused and did to someone else. But it's all about accepting you as your raw self, okay? Start uh, cutting cords and taking your spirit baths. You most definitely want to start doing your research when it comes to certain herbs that will help you disconnect from certain people that no longer serve you. If you have slept with somebody and it's coming out that this person may have slept with the same sex or slept with an incubus succubus spirit or any type of attachments you guys trust me i've been there i had to clean my wound like several times you have to go through a cleansing process man body and spirit there is no skipping any steps when it comes to disconnecting from certain people and situations you also want to always call your energy back okay always call your energy back because a lot of them was using your energy to fuel up whatever these complete psychopaths sociopaths and and that's just how it is. They were doing it, okay? I also get there's a lot of energy coming up around the truck here. Um, I've been picking up, like, the truckers. Something going on, like riots. Um, some type of protest or something coming on, okay? You also get that someone was um, could be in a truck. Somebody drives a truck. It could be stalking. This person is also owned by somebody. Um, this could be also who has all this money. Um yeah, but this person's last thing, they was trying to put something secret inside of your drink, okay? Somebody was trying to get something inside of their drink or their food here. So, I'm going to tell y'all, every video, I'm starting to feel like I have to say that you most definitely want to watch who you are accepting food from, who you are accepting drinks from, who you are allowing to cook your food. Um, you know, when it comes to vibration, vibrations everywhere, energies everywhere, this is why... You know, everybody always went to Big Mama. When you go to Big Mama's with somebody, if you've experienced having a Big Mama, I never have, but I know the essence of it because I was actually joking about it last night, me and my dude, and he was like, I'm going to be called Fat Mama because I'm like, yeah, I'm most definitely going to make sure all my grandkids ate, that you ain't getting ready to lay and fall asleep on my couch and piss on it, go and get your butt in the tub and go lay down. Like, these are the type of things that's going on. A lot of people have been doing things to people food, and I'm telling you, when it comes to, all you need is love. You guys, all you most definitely need is love when it comes to cooking a meal. It's just like these people feel like they can poison you with food. We most definitely are some healing, healing cook it, cookers out here. You know, you can cook a meal and the whole family, you know, is relaxed and sleep because they feel that good vibration of love. There's nobody that is around that's really into like putting blood and feces and poison into food unless you really got a demonic entity attached to you. That's all it is to it. If you, I mean, hateful ape. It's a, it's a group of people that's really into, like, putting stuff.